Uh, but yeah, look at the sky. We have been clouded over all morning. It'd be nice to sneak a peek of sunshine, but not the case for us right now. 54 is what we're sitting at. That breeze still strong out of the north, 14 miles an hour. Seeing gusts in some spots, upwards of 32 miles an hour for Spencer. Fort Dodge at 24, a tumble coming in at 31. Metro seeing gusts upwards of 25. So clouds continue to filter in and just a few showers up off to the northeast. So still a chance could see an isolated shower mainly east 35. Uh, but the bulk of that activity has stayed east into Wisconsin and up over the Great Lakes with much drier skies off to our west. So looking at today's forecast, it's a chilly one, isn't it? 58 degrees is what we'll be topping out at. 51 for areas like Minneapolis, 55 for Green Bay, Detroit seeing storms, and it's cool even off to the south there. Kansas City at 62, St. Louis coming in at 65. So we are going to see some pretty cold air make its way in tonight. We head into tomorrow morning. You can see freezing temperatures up in that northeastern edge of the state. And again, we don't necessarily need to see that temperature um, drop all the way down to freezing to see some of that frost form as far south as uh, southern portions of the state down by Indianola and even further to the southwest. You go down all the way down to Hayes, Kansas, and they're nearly picking up on the chances for frost. So as uh, we head throughout the day, temperatures back up into the upper 50s this afternoon. We'll likely start to see some of those clouds break into the evening hours for us, and that's going to help that temperature continue to drop. There's no blanket of clouds to keep us warm 44 by 1 a.m. Uh, you can see clouds continue to work their way out into the evening hours, really becoming patchy. More clouds start to roll in by 8 o'clock in the morning. And as we head through the day tomorrow, plan on overcast skies and we'll likely see some rain start to work its way back into the forecast on Saturday. And we will keep rain in the forecast through much of the day on Saturday. The heaviest band of rain though continues to shift eastward. So by later afternoon hours, central and western portions of the state uh, may not be picking up on too much additional rain, but we'll still likely see some. And as far as how much rain, not talking about a huge soaker here, but it's still going to be rainy for a good portion of the day out there for us. So winds staying strong. We'll likely continue to see those gusts upwards of 30, 35 miles an hour. But plan on the clouds and temperatures way cooler than average. We're talking 58 for a high compared to an average of 70 out there. And tomorrow, tonight, temperatures dropping down to 36. So as we look at your eight day forecast, your chances for rain return on Saturday after that system rolls through. We are climbing back up 65 on Monday, sunny and 70s for most of next week.